Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm gonna to show you guys the best material that you can actually prototype with any laser engraver here. That is a uh, cardboard here. So obviously this make, may make your machine a little dirty more often, so clean your machine more often, but they can come in these perfect size sheets for any laser. Um, in this case, we're gonna be using the S1, just as an example, and it's gonna be real fast. Um, I'm gonna just do something silly, something stupid, um, and show you this. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this really quick. All you gotta do is take your cardboard, put it into your machine here, and then after you put it into your machine, you'll close your lid, hit start, wait for it to cut, you'll lift your lid up here, and then you'll pull out your prototypes here. Um, obviously, I pre-glued all this together, and um, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the actual table. Um, make sure you grab some color pencils. I'll meet you over there, and I'm gonna get into depth on why this is the best thing that you can ever prototype with. And I'm gonna show you the end results after the prototype is done. So let's go ahead and get over to the table and we'll color some of this in. All right, you guys, so now that we have our color pencils, we have both of our prototypes printed off in cardboard here. And like I said, this is the best material to do this on. The reason why is you can kind of get a color scheme going. Ultimately, I ended up going with this light blue color scheme after I went ahead and did this color scheme first, just to get an idea of what it looked like finished. Um, I was going for an idea of showing the wood or the MDF material that I made this out of to be part of this uh, cosplay prop here. Um, I honestly didn't really like the red coloring in this or the little blue outlines here. So I ended up going with this light blue on the inside here. Um, and after I was happy with that, this is the finished result here. Um, I didn't glue this one together. I'm gonna go more in depth on why and explain different things that you can do based on this. Now that I know how it's gonna end up looking at the end, we'll get back to this one in just a second. But what I did is I ended up taking this red color scheme and then I applied it to this one here. So I didn't fill this one in with color. I just went ahead and applied that red color scheme to this. Um, and I went a little bit more so you didn't have to see all of the wood grain in this one. So this one turned out really cool as well. So those are two different ways that you can um, kind of use this material as a good way to prototype for the end result here. So you can see the differences between the uh, the cardboard and the end result. Looks amazing. Now let's get back to this one here. So this one here, um, like I said, I did not glue this together. I left it in pieces so you can see what's going on here. Um, these are different layers. This is score lines with like the little grid pattern and then the two like inserts for the vents and then the trigger here. And then we have the back side that just gets glued together and it's the exact same thing on the other side here. So um, the exact same thing, double-sided, they all get glued together and then they end up looking like that at the end there. So super cool results. Um, how I painted this is I left masking tape on this and all the score lines, I just peeled out all that masking tape on um, any area that I wanted painted so just all these silver parts, I pulled off those masking tape, left the other masking tape on, spray painted it um, to get that nice shiny silver right away. And then after I got the silver on there, I pulled all the masking tape off, used these color pencils here and recolored that in on this MDF material. Turned out amazing, real shiny as you can see when it hits this, the light here, it looks super cool. So that's just one way that you can use this material. Another way would be is if you're using like leather products, um, this would be a good idea to use uh, cardboard with as well because cardboard can bend uh, way easier than wood if you're going to be testing something and you don't want to waste a piece of the leather. This can kind of give you a rough draft. Obviously, it's going to be way more rigid than leather, but it'll be a good um, possible result on what you can do there. But you can basically get a one-for-one -one copy, an idea, or a rough draft of something. I just wanted to share this with you guys and share um, how cool you can uh, make cool items out of it too. So if you wanted to give this to um, like a friend or a family member for like Halloween or something, um, then you have extra products you can give out for free too. 
Um, but as mentioned, I'll put some uh, links down in the description below for those perfect size sheets for your laser um, that you can get right off of Amazon. They are affiliate links. I'd appreciate it if you purchase from that link there. Other than that, like always, I hope you found something useful out of these um, real quick videos. And if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll also put some links to these uh, color pencils down there below as well. Other than that, if you have any questions, let me know and we'll catch you guys in the next one.